we are still focusing on motivation within a team or organization. And in this video, we will discuss Maslow's hierarchy by looking at the different needs that a person can experience and understanding how you can use those needs to motivate your team members. So the most basic needs that one gets is physiological needs. And the physiological needs are needs for survival. If a person are in survival mode, if you see the beggar at the street um, light or you see someone that doesn't have a home or even a job, their most basic needs needs to be fulfilled first. You will not interest them in giving them a le lecture on self-actualization or starting their own business when their most basic need it are things like food, water, air, reproduction, shelter, sleep and rest, and clothing. Um, the most basic needs need to be fulfilled first before you can motivate them to improve their life or to start looking for employment. The second level of needs that we get is for basic security and safety. Sadly, in South Africa, we had a lot of protests last year, which um, influenced a lot of people living in Kozula Natal. And everyone, doesn't matter in what position they were, what post level they had at work, everyone defaulted back to safety and security needs. Our health. Our health is a big safety and security need. And we know how this impacted all of us since the start of the pandemic that we think is um, over now and it's not impacting us as this video is being um, done. And then property, to own something that you can call your own. So that's a need for safety and security. Then the third category we look at is love and belonging. We all know what that is like. But a person on a street corner or a person that we want to go from unemployment to being motivated as an entrepreneur, they will not focus on love and belonging. Or the next one, self-esteem. They will only be in the basic need for survival. But once they tasted the success of starting their own new venture and um, a kid in a classroom that tasted the success of achieving better marks in a test. That motivates them to go to higher levels of needs being fulfilled. And the last one is a higher order needs of self-actualization. And very few people live in this hierarchy and this highest order of needs. This is the desire to become the most that one can be. The desire to leave a legacy, the desire to fulfill your calling. And one can only help others and lead others to get there if you know where they are at the moment. Say, for instance, um, they are at the level where they need for family is something that's very real to them. You as manager or leader at the business can motivate them. If you meet your deadlines, I will give you more family time. Or maybe you can work from home three times a week instead of two. So there would always be a way that we can help these people to fulfill their needs and in this way motivate them.